Day 5. Second those emotions. Reconnect with your emotions and let them flow freely to the page. When you were a baby, you screamed when you were upset and cooed when you were happy. You felt your emotions powerfully and often let them go as quickly as they came. You didn't hang on to negative feelings or bottle them up inside. No one criticized you for letting your feelings be known, and of course, you didn't feel bad about doing so. As you grew up, you couldn't just cry whenever you felt like it anymore. The adults in your life expected you to express yourself through words, intellectualizing your feelings, or perhaps they expected you to simply be seen and not heard, denying and suppressing your feelings. Kids who showed too much emotion at school got teased or reprimanded by teachers. Whether or not you were told that it was bad to show emotions, you learned to control them. Particularly if you were male, you were trained to suppress your emotions to some degree and stuffed your feelings way down into your body. Well, I have news for you. To be human is to have emotions. Anger, joy, grief, love, and fear, for example. Even though it may not be considered acceptable in the world of academics or business to show these emotions, it is healthy to allow yourself to feel them, even the negative ones. It's healthy for you to write about them freely. Letting your emotions flow onto the page gives you practice in letting yourself really feel and not being afraid to feel. So go ahead. Have a dialogue with fear, anger, resentment, and health and happiness. Exercise your rights. Number one, open your journal to a fresh page and write the date. At the top of the page, write in block letters, I feel blank. Fill in the blank with the emotion you are feeling most strongly at that moment. Number two, pause for a moment and let yourself really feel that emotion. Feel it 100%. Number three, Now let your emotions guide your pen and write as much as you can about that word. Why are you feeling that way? Do you sense any judgments on yourself from you and others for feeling that way? Number four, pause again. Realize that when you let your emotions flow freely through you as they did when you were a baby, you don't need to hang on to them. They come and go without judgment, and that's normal. It's healthy, and it's human, whether you're an infant or an adult or any age in between. Check in with yourself. Congratulations. You're five days into your journey toward health and happiness. You've started doing some of the challenging work of exploring your memories and feelings. It's tough, but it's also rewarding. Check in with yourself and write a short journal entry. How are you finding the process? Were you surprised by anything? Frustrated? Proud of yourself? Write for at least five minutes. Keep on keeping on. You're doing great so far, and there's plenty more interesting things about yourself that you have yet to discover. To give vent now and then to his feelings, whether of pleasure or discontent, is a great ease to a man's heart. Francesco Guicciardini